Helm Boots was started in 2009 with a commitment to making versatile, timeless, and functional footwear. Since then, they have created not just boots, but Oxfords, loafers, and sneakers too. And recently, they released the Finn Chelsea boot, and I just had to check it out for my Chelsea Spring series. The Finn is made from a full grain hot stuffed leather, and now hot stuffing is basically when they put the leather in this big heated drum with a bunch of fats and oils and uh, tumble that around for a while. They are Blake Rapid Stitch constructed, which means that it's sort of a balance between the Blake Stitch and the Goodyear Well construction. And it also makes them resolable should the outsole ever wear down. Speaking of soles, they come with a rubber lug outsole for traction that I really appreciate. The fin is also leather lined and uh, they have a padded insole. They also come with uh, a reinforced pull tab on the back. Now, just like Nike has a signature swoosh on all of their shoes, Helm Footwear has a white rubber midsole, and it makes these boots identifiable by that signature white stripe. Lastly, according to Helm's website, these boots are made in Brazil by master boot makers. So are the Helm Finn Chelsea boots? worthy of a spot in your closet. <laughs> I know that our closets sometimes get rather full and are these worth a spot? Well, we're gonna get into that as we look at the good, the bad, and the bottom line. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Lee and I review products from lifestyle brands to help you make more informed decisions when spending your hard earned dollars. If that sounds helpful to you, then go ahead and tap that subscribe button so you won't miss another review. All right, let's start with the good of the Helm Finn Chelsea boot. Right off the bat, the experience of buying from Helm is one of the most frustration-free experiences of buying from any other website. In fact, they even give first-time buyers 15% off, and when you're paying $265 for a pair of Chelsea's, 15% off really helps. Also, on the Helm website, there is a fit predictor on the product page to help you choose the right size. I used the fit predictor and my boots fit great. One of the things I noticed when I first put these on was really how comfortable they were. Uh, the leather liner on the inside and the padded footbed meant that I can wear them with comfort without a prolonged break-in period. And so I really appreciated the instant comfort of the helm fin. So the full grain leather has very little correction to it, which means that it gives them a lot of character and uniqueness uh, without having to wear them for five years first. Also, the smell is wonderful too. One of these days, I'm gonna have to rank all the boots in my closet according to smell. It is very easy to see that over in their factory in Brazil, that helm has some really diligent quality control. When my boots arrived, all the stitching was perfect. Um, even the stitching around the welt, which seems to be the one area uh, where sub $300 boots uh, fails, is a lot of times the stitching will be sort of sloppy around the welt, not in the case of the helms. As I mentioned before, I'm a big fan of the lug sole, and I do appreciate its slip resistance. It gets cold here in the wintertime. We get ice, we get snow. I love the lug sole. Also, I actually really dig the white stripe on the insole and uh, it does set this boot apart from all the other boots in my closet. And last but not least, Helm decided to only put a pull tab in the back of the boot. Now, why is that a good thing? I like this because it means that my pant leg has one less pull tab to get hung up on. And if you're anything like me, you're always bending down to pull your jeans over those pull tabs. All in all, I really feel like the Finn is a well-crafted, sort of heritage modern boot hybrid. Um, and you know, I mean, the padding on the inside may flatten and things like that, but it's gonna last me a long time. So what about the bad of the Helm Finn Chelsea? For this boot, Helm decided to use a slightly larger heel block. Let's see if you can see that and a slightly thinner uh, top lift or rubber part of the sole on the heel. 
And I think maybe I would have reversed that, giving it a little more cushion and wear resistance to that heel. Time will tell. Now I have a friend that has been wearing helms for years on the regular, and he's never worn through that. So hopefully my experience will be the same. And the other thing in the bad column is really completely subjective. You know, if you go to the Reddit forums, you might hear people complain about creasing. And I, I do hear people complain about creasing in there sometimes. Um, and you know what, truth be told, uh, my leather did crease rather quickly as well. But the thing is, is I think it really added to the, the rugged appearance of the fin and it gave them character and a sort of rugged look without having to wear them for uh, a few years for that character to develop. In fact, I even appreciate that sort of rugged appearance uh, more than I appreciated the sort of smooth, perfect, out of the box look. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is that the Finn Chelsea boots are pretty easy to love. They're immediately comfortable they're well crafted, they're made of great material, they're great looking, and you know what? They're just gonna get better looking with age. These boots, like I said, are probably gonna be wearable for a very long time. I wanna thank Helm for providing these boots for review. Uh, these, of course, are my honest opinions, as always. And if you have experience with Helm boots, uh, please drop a comment below. They don't have to be the fin. Any experience at all, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.